Hi guys. Hi. Maud, Pascal, and Erica. <laughs> right now we are on our way to um, Lavina. There are no buses because the road at our hostel site has been blocked. I think something happened. So uh, we can't really find a way. So right now we are trying to walk to Lavina to be able to get our power banks because we really need those things at this time in case there's any uh, chance for us to leave. We would be able to charge our phones. So right now we are on our way. Sorry you for the noise. Okay. See you guys. Thanks. Guys, we by God's grace we did not walk again or oh. finally got a cab. So we went back to school and then we took the cab and now we're at Echo Market. The line is very long. <laughs> and it's even further behind yes, us. It's further behind us. So we are trying to get some water and then something mm -hmm. small mm -hmm. to keep the soul and body intact. Mm -hmm. So bye for now. Bye-bye. It is 4 7 right now in Ukraine, the 3rd of March. This video is being recorded at 4 7 right now. Sorry, I could not make a morning video for you guys because my voice is quite low in the morning. I'm in my room right now. This, this is my room on the fourth floor, and my roommate is behind the camera. She's on her bed. Uh, also, today we also tried going out as you've seen in the, the, the previous video sorry i could not make a video in the morning because my voice is quite low in the morning <laughs> so um yeah we went to get some stuff and then we are back the shelves are getting empty and um they are trying their best to also keep some food stuff so that uh, it will keep people going in the war and we came back then like an hour or two we were asked to go to the sorry banker that's the bomb shelter we were asked to go to the, the bomb shelter and more than i tried to make a video over there but it was quite impossible so maybe next time we'll do it we'll do a video there again so since i promised that this is a vlog a war vlog <laughs> so it's going to be every day till i leave or till the way is over and even if i leave uh, here by god's grace that is what we are praying for i will still uh and like people are still here suffering finding it difficult to leave i'll still keep you guys updated but hopefully we all live together in jesus name that's the prayer so i'll just go on to today's business and answer some few questions that has been on yeah all's my yesterday we did um why did you uh, why didn't you leave at the beginning and we did why are you still here <laughs> so today we are going to do why don't you call these numbers yes those of you who know me personally or those of you who have siblings and friends and family here you guys know what i'm talking about why don't you call this number why don't you call that number why don't you call dr albert kitcher why don't you call the embassy a lot um this man is providing this this man is doing that thank you guys for like you guys have been showing massive support guy you guys have been showing giving us massive support here but you guys should also know that um we are in the situation here so these numbers we get them all the time we get them a lot and uh like uh dr albert albert kitcher's number like this it was wrong those of you don't know who dr albert kitcher is he is the consulate, if I'm not mistaken, yes, from Ukraine to Ghana. We don't have an embassy in Ukraine, yeah. So he's like our uh, consulate here. Even that number that was circulating was wrong. 
and even if you call him like what is he what like the the he couldn't have done much for us because he will just tell you to keep calm and then he will tell you that he will keep um talking to our leaders and um like they'll, they'll relay the message to us and some of the numbers too are scam numbers guys <laughs> people are just using this opportunity to scam people and some some people yesterday i saw in the uh Ghanaian group that we shouldn't contact a particular number because the guy does not even know whatever is going on <laughs> you see people are just putting people's numbers everywhere call this person call this person like yes we, we really try to call them here yeah? but some of them are scam some of them don't even go through some of them will not even reply you some of them don't even yeah so right now we are just trying to you know uh when you send the number and i say thank you and then you ask me have you called him have you called him and maybe i said no it's not like I don't want to call him. It's because I know that <laughs> the number is is either wrong, it's not going through, or something like that. Yes, and some of you to please, uh, this this is not the time for you to be saying I've texted you and you are not replying, and why are you ignoring me? Please, 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 please. Let's 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 not be ignorant. <laughs> That's really the right word to use. Please. People are in tough situations. People's mind are everywhere. I just went to um, Telegram right now and I just saw that my school sister had texted me like 28th of February and I'm just seeing it today. Because my mind has always, my mind has been everywhere, guy. Like, so please, sometimes you even, I just, why not I'm talking about this? I just remember I'm supposed to call someone and I have not even called the person. So that's because a lot is going on. So, we beg you so some of the numbers are really not good so we are really looking at our leaders to do to talk to the right people and then relay the messages to us that's why some of them the numbers we just don't reply to you guys or do to or say anything about it today the video is going to be very short so the second question is how do you feel in situations like this sad frustrating it is frustrating it is i don't know it is draining it, it's 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 scary <laughs> today when i woke up i woke up around six like every time every as the day increase my sleeping time reduces today I woke, I woke up around six and then i was just on my bed so my roommate, <laughs> my roommate, um, when she woke up, I didn't realize she had woken up here. So she, she was going through her phone and then she was, um, she was playing this video. You know, I told you guys about the bomb yesterday she, and it was a funny video that says so many people this morning. And the video was just, uh, Aki, eh? I think Popo and Mr. Ibu running from their bed saying, Hey, Hey. So when she played that video, my heart, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh god it was not funny on my heart see because when i woke up this morning i was already having small panic attacks like i was really thinking about my life so when i heard hey hey <laughs> i nearly opened the window to see if people are really really running then i now remember that oh it's a video you know when when you went to brush your teeth and you I think you banged the door or something. My heart did boom. I thought it was a gunshot guy. It's not funny. Yo. <laughs> a lot a, a whole a whole PTSD like this to be carrying us like Ghana must go. <laughs> My dear. Oh, sorry. I was scared, so you can imagine. So we, <laughs> this situation is not even funny for us. We are really finding it difficult. Like, um, let me see. The question is, yes, how do you feel in this situation? Like, <coughs> it's not funny. People are having mental uh breakdowns. People are scared, like me, like this. I'm I'm always scared of any small any small noise. I'll be scared. Even when I go back home, 
I have to tell the people around me how to behave. And you, they cannot even shout my name because if you say, Erica, I'll just faint on you because I'll think that we are supposed to run or <laughs> something. <laughs> so, like, this situation, uh, we, for me, I've cried and cried and cried, but I've not cried plenty. <laughs> I've cried small, <laughs> but I've cried. Sometimes you cannot just hold it in, but I've managed. I've... I'm trying to be strong because you have to be strong for others to all of you cannot be crying but this situation is really really uh having like it's really really messing up with um our mental health imagine oh, that they, <laughs> I just did psychiatry uh, last semester learning about a uh, mental health and all those things PTSD and the rest see me in this situation, me that I'm supposed to be treating somebody. I'm now in this situation. But I believe that we are strong and we as soon as we, we get to a safe haven, we would be fine. So guys, that is all for today. Um I really hope that you guys um I don't know watch <laughs> yeah watch this video like share subscribe please subscribe please like please turn on the post notification bell so that anytime i post a video you'll be able to receive like get a notification and watch and then also catch up with what is going on in ukraine i'll try my best to update you guys every day just that sometimes today i'm doing the video at four because normally by this time i would have uploaded a video uh, even before this time but today has really been hectic guys like i'm stressed uh, i knew that i had to go out and stuff like that so i received a lot of calls so yeah thank you guys for watching for liking for sharing for subscribing and for turning the post notifications on and thank you so far for my 42 subscribers god bless you guys and bye hi guys good morning it's 7 6 a.m in the morning in Sumi, ukraine today is the uh, 4th of march 2022 and I know you guys will be wondering why I did not upload it yesterday, the video yesterday because I said it was a war blog, but <sighs> if you tell that something is really wrong, something really went wrong, that is why I couldn't. Guys, in, you would see uh, the previous video was the last video I did yesterday and then my friend called me and then she was, I, I was asking her for how I can leave. And then they rang the bell for us to go to the banker. So I just, we all rushed to the banker. So we were at the banker from 4 uh, 47. I can remember because my cousin called me from 4 47. Uh, then when it was 6 20, Maud was like, oh, when it's 6 30, let's leave for the hostel because we've been there. Like, to, normally when we are there for a long time, we come out. Uh, 6 29 p.m. It was bad, guys. There was a shake like thunder, and I'm not even joking. There was a shake like thunder, like, and then they told us to stay put only for us to hear, bam! Oh my god. It shook the basement like you could feel the vibration. I I think that if you were no, it's just a video. That's my roommate. If we were in, if we were uh, on the surface, I'm sure that you would have you would have fallen down. When the boo 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 happened like that, um, the light was doing, it was blinking, and then. All of a sudden, it went off. It went out, guys. When it went out, I was just like, Jesus. That is why we've been praying for that shouldn't happen. The lights, I'll try and make this video uh, quick because people are waking up and people are looking for. See, see, I'm not in my bathroom. <laughs> the lights went off and we were all scared. Uh, the Ukrainians were saying that there, there is something in the air. Of course, something has already landed. People that people were still in the hostel when they told us to come to the banker. But when they heard the boom, they are now rushing to the bank. Imagine. And then I told them that um, 
they now they were now telling us that they could see the light. These these are my friends, more than Pascal, you guys know them. They now told them that they could see the light of, of the bomb. And it was light out, guys. I was so scared. Thankfully, you know, yesterday I told you um the previous video that was yesterday with um that was supposed to be uploaded yesterday, but apparently to be this morning. That's even if it's possible. We told you we got um some power banks. <laughs> And we thank God we at least charged them. So that was our only our hope in our head. That and we're also praying that oh life cell and Vodafone and stuff will be working here. So I was there because of the shake. I my I really got my bladder full, so I wanted to be we and we also had people that were on their periods that needed to change. And you know, in stress like this, you you just feel like maybe your pad is it's full by now. Ah, so we could not go out when i when i when i wanted to look for a place in the bunker to be there was no place then we decided to try and come out do you know what the ukrainian guy said he, at first he was like where are you going and i'm like i want to use the toilet and he was like okay you can go at your own risk jesus you can't even tell me you can't even tell me this at this time but it was true that that was the truth so he saw he, he saw that we we're standing there we did not have courage to go he was he's a very good guy actually he came out he opened the door went out did survey 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 and told us to come we did not even put on our lights i had to go to one corner for the first time in five years almost five years i will read on the ground in ukraine for the first time i was not the only one i went with another uh, girl in my hostel and then my friend too Maud. We had to do things outside, not number two, but you know, we win outside in this school and our it was not funny guys. It wasn't. So after that we went back inside and we stayed there for three hours or more even before luckily enough they were like, Okay, we can go to the hostel. Remember it's light out. So when I came to Vivi, my phone did ping 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 notification, meaning there is network. So I was like, Thank you, Jesus, it's only light out. Only for us to come out the second time, no network. My phone was showing no service, guy. I was, I was, I was scared. I was not even worried for my life. I was worried for my parents, especially my mom. I think everybody was worried for their parents because they would call, they would text, they would do whatever. Not nothing would go through, and we even wondered how would the school even communicate with us? How would they tell us around to the bankers? Do you know when we go to the hostel, it was even worse. No water. So meaning we are not eating, we are not bathing, we are not charging our phones. That is what was going. That is what it meant because our our hostel uses electricity, electric cookers, our fridges electricity, our heaters electricity. Nothing was 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 work is going to work without this electricity. I was scared. Hmm. When I I went I came up upstairs and then my roommate was telling me that she has already written her goodbye. A goodbye. I made a goodbye video for my parents. I, I really felt so sad. So uh, whilst we were on the bed, I heard someone say, "Hello, mommy." I just rushed and came and asked them, "Please, where do you where do you get your network?" Oh, they said you are using Vodafone and Kista. Me, I'm using Lifestyle. So Lifestyle was still showing no service. I had to run downstairs to Maud so that I can use a hotspot. Yes, I, I can use a hotspot. That was how I was able to reach my family, and I just texted them like. I am okay. Once I was there, I had to send I love you to all my sisters, guy. I love you so much. That was how, that was what I had to send to them because at that point, I felt like, because of what my roommate told me, I actually felt like anything can happen. Like, and that'll be the last time you're going to see your family. So I had to send I love you to everybody. Like, to my siblings, of course. It was not funny, guys, but... Thankfully, this morning we don't have light, so no bathing. But we, our networks are, are coming. Uh, uh, life cell is still on and off. And thankfully, those in the uh, hostel three, they have lights and they they have electricity and stuff. So at least, if anything, we can even move there. But right now, right now is to take the risk and leave this place. Like I, I don't even know. Is I don't know where the risk is going to come from, but that risk must come so that we will take it. Because this one, our lights have gone off. It's not looking funny again because very soon, if those in Hostel 3 lose their lights, 
That means it's starvation on the way. They are going to starve. Our parents cannot reach us. That's what we're going to give them high BP. I even had to tell them not to tell my mom that we don't have lights and water because she, she, what, what is going to happen to her, guys? Anyway, we thank God for a, a wonderful morning and you guys will not believe it. It's today that the almighty weather decided to snow. Today of all, in these times, that human being needs to be swift. Now I have to be wearing winter boots and be worrying about also falling down. Whilst I'm running, I should be worried that uh, I shouldn't fall down. Imagine. Anyway, I would give you guys the rest or whatever goes on. And I'm sorry for posting this video now, but you guys know this is war time. So you should be expecting this. Um, thank you guys for the support. Love you. Peace out.